not that long ago, I wrote an article, well, about six months ago, so I guess a little while ago. Uh, I wrote an article about the Dodge uh, Challenger lineup. And I talked about how after I drove the Hellcat all the way down to the SXT, the entire 2015 lineup, that as far as road cars go, I would probably just get the SXT. It's just the V6, doesn't have quite the power of say the V8 engines, but on the road as just a road car, it's probably the best of all worlds. So here I am, this is actually a 2014, not a 2015, but it's a Dodge Challenger SXT Plus. So with the Plus, you get a couple of little options and it says the performance options and such. So you get the paddle shifters and sport mode. It's got the V6 engine, which produces 305 horsepower. Not that long ago, that was a lot. The only downside is this is a heavy car. It's getting close to 4,000 pounds. So, you know, it takes a lot of power to get that all that moving quickly. But it's not slow, per se. It's just not earth-shakingly fast. It's zero to 60 is about a little under six and a half seconds. But on the road, when we drove the 2015 lineup, this car had no problem keeping up with the Hellcat. I mean, the Hellcat's gonna get stopped. Even on the back roads we went, it got stopped by people every now and then, and you just can't use all 707 horsepower. This is not a bad car you get the good handling I mean the brakes are going to be a little smaller than the higher SRT ones but you're talking 70 grand ish for the Hellcat versus 30,000 or less depending on your options for an SXT and 50% of all challengers are of the SXT so more people will own this actual car than the other. And when you rev it out, it gets up and goes. I mean, I'm already to the 55 speed limit. So on a regular road, you're going to not really miss this car if you have this over the RT. The RT is another good road car I would take that probably over most of the SRTs just because it provides a little bit more horsepower about 70 more horsepower than this so you can get going and it has that great V8 sound but it's not overkill for the road the others just seemed a little overkill for most people in the road now if you're taking it on the track get the Hellcat there's no doubt on that that thing is going to beat everybody on the drag strip or beat everybody actually it handles beautifully on the track even just a road course amazingly but if you're just looking for a challenger and you're thinking well should I get the V8 or should I get the better gas mileage is the SXT enough performance especially in the 2015 model instead of the 2014 and older you get the eight-speed gearbox and that is just a revolution it shifts so so much better. So, this is a fabulous car, and you'll be happy with it. It's just getting over your ego. Our egos say, I need 700 horsepower. I need at least 400 horsepower. But you don't need that. Not on everyday driving. If you're just gonna take this on the road, you're never really gonna drive it super fast, all the other will do is get you in jail.